back in the woods today. Time of year for a lot of mushrooms. I only know a few. I don't know what this one is, but I'm gonna just um, take one or two and bring it with me and see if we ID it later on. I'm gonna take as much of the base as possible. Not much of a smell, or, or I'm getting most of the um, smell of the clay, really, of the soil, but we'll put that in our bag and we'll see if we ID them later on. So I'm gonna take these two larger ones and leave the rest. This is the Prince Mushroom. Come back maybe in a day or so for those, but um, it's always good to leave. Um, so I'm going to probably just have one of these for breakfast this morning, but maybe um, dry these out, put them in the hydrator. Got a few shaggy parasols. So I was looking at the forum yesterday and I've been looking at these for quite a while. I'm quite happy that they're the shaggy parasol. Got all the key identifiers. And I actually, uh, for the first time, had half of one yesterday for breakfast. And well, sure, I'm still here today. I'm interested in these ones here. Uh, well, I'm going to give, I'm going to swing them out wide berth anyway. I'll just go onto the forum. Yeah, I just popped the question up there yesterday. Are there any close lookalikes to the parasol or the shaggy parasol that I should give a wide berth and stay clear of? Thanks, William. William came back with um, stinky vaporlings and other small parasols. Would these be considered small parasols? I know they have the kind of, um, I suppose, the scaly top on them. They're dark underneath. I just put a few of them out there. As I say, I'm not going to go near these because I really don't know enough about them. I have one for breakfast. I'll take a small one. Maybe that one. That one. Uh, back here we have shaggy parasols. Now, there is also a, a cousin called a parasol, which would be a bigger one. It'd be the size of a plate. These ones are their smaller cousins. They're not for everyone. They can give you an upset tummy, but I have researched them. I've looked at all the key identifiers. I've even done a spore print of them. And basically a spore print, basically you'd leave that sitting on an A4 sheet of white paper overnight and it puts a nice imprint, all the spores drop onto the paper, puts a nice print on it and you can use that as a, an identifier as well. Um, so the ones you, uh, you want to avoid are the green spore parasol version of these. Th these, these are okay. Well, as I said, they're not okay for everyone. They can, can give you a tummy ache. I had half of one of these yesterday for the first time. And like, I've been looking at them for a long time. So, you know, it's not like I jumped in yesterday and just picked one up and decided I'm gonna eat one of these. No, we've done our research. Uh, there was a possibility that I'd get a tummy upset from one, but it seems uh, that was yesterday and I'm okay today. So I'm gonna just have a full one today along with that one. Again, we're gonna take it easy, um, and hopefully then we can uh, add it to our, to our list of edible mushrooms. So I'm just gonna slice these up, and we're gonna be popping them into our dehydrator. Okay, so that's our shaggy parasol, and that's Prince Mushroom. So we're just gonna have one of those, one of those, and a little bit of black pudding. The pan is heating up, and I'll just slice these up a little bit. So as I said, I had half one of these shaggy parasols yesterday. So I'm gonna have a whole one today. Just to be sure, to be sure, we do not delve in and use my Weight and power soles just yet. <laughs> okay. A bit of black pudding as well. These. A bit of 
Get more butter. See them shrivel down in size. As you can see, this is what happens when they're dried out. Put them in the dehydrator and just throw them away. Good for stews and a few other dishes. We're done there. So that's the Prince and that's the Shaggy Parasol. Actually, just try one over the other and see what they're like. So, Shaggy Parasol there. Prince there. Shaggy Parasol there. So that's them separated out. Let cool just not a little bit. A little bit of black pudding. Definitely tasty. Mm. Now let's try the prince. Mm. The prince is definitely the tastier of the two. Okay, that's it, wait 24 hours, hopefully I won't get a tummy upset. <laughs>